Hey friends, Doug Addison. Welcome to Spirit Connection Podcast, February 17, 2021. And this month I've been talking about how to get a financial breakthrough and how to restore peace and hope. Uh, and so, Lord, we pray for this to go out to the world. I felt really powerful, powerful anointing on this to help people, to get out of debt, to help people, to get a financial infusion, to get strategies from heaven, to get downloads uh, and things that we need right now, and especially this infusion of hope and get out of the wilderness that we're in. In Jesus' name, open up the heavens over us. Oh, wow. Ooh, there's a powerful, powerful time happening. Uh, Zechariah 9.12, if you really need uh, need a boost, just learn how to decree Bible verses. Pray them back to the Lord. Write them down. Zechariah 9.12, return to your fortresses, O prisoners of hope. Even now, I announce that I will restore twice as much to you. How many people feel that way, that you've maybe been uh, feeling uh, like you're a prisoner being held captive in our homes? Uh, the Lord is restoring now. And he says it in, in Zechariah 9, 20, he said he's going to give a double blessing as a result of your suffering. But you got to push in, you know, some of these things aren't just a blanket word. It's like you got to file your claim. you got to pray and ask. In other words, ask and you'll, you'll receive. And sometimes it, it takes a, a process of, uh, once you ask, uh, it takes a process. It's like filling out a form with the government. And then you, you put your claim in. And then, uh, you know, sometimes you have to prove a few things. You have to jump through some hoops. But you will get a breakthrough. This week, I want to talk about how to get out of debt, how to stay out of debt, how to help others, and at the end here, I'm going to do this prayer to open the finances over your, uh, open the heavens over your finances. And uh, let's start with Deuteronomy 8:18. 8, this is a powerful, powerful promise about the storehouses. But remember that the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. He confirms His covenant, which He swore to your ancestors as it is today. The Bible is full of uh, verses and promises, principles of blessing. Uh, and then, you know, we just have to deal with our own stuff, basically, because uh, with God, there's no limits. All things are possible for those who believe. See the little sigh behind me? That's why I have it there, to remind me. All things are possible for those who believe. Uh, the, you know, there's really no limits. God's limitless. The only limit we have, then, is our belief about uh, God, I believe about some people give a, a limiting belief about God or a belief about ourselves. So we can break through this uh, and get the strategies that's flowing from ha heaven. Uh, Haggai 2.19, I love this one. Is there yet any seed in the barn until now? The vine and the fig tree and the pomegranate and the olive tree have not borne fruit. But the Lord says from this day forward, I will bless you. We're in a time that we have not been able to bear fruit, so to speak, you know. The storehouses on earth are being depleted. I keep saying this. And the Lord wants to release financial blessing strategies uh, and into the hands of people who can be trusted with it. So God's raising up the financial strategists, those who will hear His voice at all levels. There's a new entrepreneurial prophetic anointing coming. It's here. And we need to ship the financial gloom that's over the land, over ourselves even, and ask God to, for a strategy to bless and help others. It's happening at all, at all levels. In other words, I just said this about that, that entrepreneurial prophetic anointing. That's the Joseph anointing from Genesis 41. It's, it's not just for uh, business people or prophets. This is for everyone. You ever see a video where a kid... Uh, you know, gets on his heart, suddenly raises thousands of dollars for something. That's what I'm talking about. It's at all levels. It could be a strategy to get you out of debt. It could be a strategy to pay the bills this month, or it could be a strategy to bump you to the next level, get you into this uh, time. This is what I'm talking about. There is a debt epidemic. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's like a pandemic for debt. It's a big worldwide thing. Uh, and debt's so huge of a problem. It's draining the life out of people. And uh, I tell you, it is so much. 
that people get strangled by it. But I just want to say, greater is the one in you the one, than the one in the world. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Proverbs 22, 7 says, The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is a slave to the lender. Now, we need some people, you know, I'm not saying uh, that not to use credit at all. We use credit, but we did have to get a hold of it. We had to get authority over it. We're no longer in debt. We broke the back of debt over ourselves and our ministries back in 2013. We've never been back. We've never been a slave uh, to uh, to debt anymore. We're now helping others. So are you tired of being a slave? Uh, maybe you can identify some of this. Maybe you to live from paycheck to paycheck. If you're married, maybe you have money fights. Uh, most people, you know, have shame around debt. So they don't like to talk about it. It's like having some kind of, you know, weird disease you don't really want to talk about. Uh, you know, but I've been in and out of debt many times. I was uh, in debt, out of debt, in debt, out of debt. I had, to stay. I had to break some underlying ties to that, some generational things, the spirit of poverty. Uh, but let's just bring it all into the light right now. Come on. But this truth will set you free. What we need, here's what we all need, whether you're in debt or not, you need to do this. Develop a lifestyle of earning, giving, saving, and spending in moderation. Let me repeat that. Earning, giving, saving, and spending in moderation. Don't stop spending because, you know, people, oh, uh, you know, the jobs go away uh, if we all stop spending everything. But you can, you do need to, if you're in debt, you need to stop overspending and you need to lower your debt. Find ways to raise your income and be honest, first of all, about your condition. Start by uh, letting someone else know, get a, a, an accountability partner or some people to pray with you to come out about it. You know, you uh, come out of the closet about this thing. Start a spending journal. That's what we did. We started tracking everything we would spend. We still do it, actually, because we did it so long. We actually track how we spent still. My wife's really good at this stuff. Make some financial goals. Set some realistic goals for yourself, your family, your business, your ministry. Uh, and then what you can do is start, you know, doing like a little savings account for each area. My wife is really good at this too, is we put away money each month because, uh, you know, basically this, if you know your uh, your car needs maintenance each, each year, if you know that the brakes are going to go out, if you know, you know, if you know this, then uh, most people aren't putting away $20 a month towards that. You could do something as simple as that. Maybe you have trouble with your taxes, especially if you work at home now and, uh, you know, you don't put away enough money. You need to discipline yourself to put away 25 to 35% or something towards those things. You could, you could do this, uh, and you can decide whether you need to cut up your credit cards or not, you know? Uh, maybe do this. I heard someone do this. They put them in a block of ice in the freezers. They were only working on it to use those things. So if you do have a credit, you know, a spending problem, there are some things that I'm talking about that you could do right now. And again, maybe an accountability partner, especially get in a group to break this stuff. Find a group online or just get a texting group or, you know, or a Facebook group or something that you can Pray because, uh, you know, one can be overpowered, two can overcome, but three, uh, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. That's Ecclesiastes 4.12. That's a powerful one. So you want to band together to get out of debt. You want to grow your savings, not your credit work, uh, limit. Now, it'll start, uh, you know, might have to start small, but if you discipline yourself in this area, then you can take small steps on a regular basis. You, then when emergencies come, you have some money to do things. So uh, I'll talk about this in a minute, some steps you know that you can take right now, even if you are in debt, to not pour everything into that debt. You'll need to develop some savings first. I'll, I'll talk about this in a minute. But staying out of debt, uh, you know, once you discipline yourself to save money, it will be easy to plan for bigger purchase or surprise purchases so that you're not a victim. Most people are victim. Oh my goodness. You know, my car broke down and they're a victim. They're like, dude, cards break down. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, those things happen. So you need to be ready for it. 
And, you know, you can build wealth with money. You know, you can have money in the bank and then begin to pay off your debts. You can invest. You can help others do the same. Here's the key. You want to make extra income. Don't be a victim. I know it's hard right now. We're in the pandemic, things like that. If you lost your job, I recommend try as hard as you can to just step up and do something. Get out of that situation. Or if you have a job, find a way to make some extra money. I've done this most of my life, most of my adult life. You know, I had trouble with debt. I didn't make enough money. I did all these different types of things. But I would find a way. I'd find a way. I knew, I, hey, I wanted some ministry training, you know, way back before we had it. You know, along back in the 80s, I would do some extra stuff in the late 80s, early 90s. So I would do some extra side jobs and I would put that towards buying some, you know, like a correspondence course. I, uh, that was called the Internet at the time. Or, uh, you know, buying some study books and things that I needed. And also later I started doing that for debt, doing some extra work. You can be a freelancer and uh, part time side jobs. You can clean houses, babysit, cook for others gardening, fixed cars, whatever, uh, you know, do these things online as well. So there are some steps that you can take to get out of debt. The first step is to be honest. I've been saying this, uh, get someone to pray, develop a 500 to a thousand dollar emergency fund. Some people say a thousand dollars, even if you have debt right now, begin to put everything into the debt, start putting money into the savings account, take a thousand dollars, uh, you know, uh, or, you know, put that goal to get that. That way you won't be caught off guard. Now, then you continue to snowball your debt payment. Let's say that you're paying a hundred a month in debt. Okay. So when you, and these are to three credit cards. So when one of them pays off, don't reduce that down to start, you know, using the money. No, snowball that money over to the next one and to the next one. As God gives you more money, you just keep paying the same amount. Oh my goodness. You'll see you go out and look for a debt calculator. Do an uh, internet search on debt calculator. Put in your debt, your monthly payments. It'll tell you the exact date that you'll be out of debt. Don't be discouraged. But then this will help you sn when you snowball. Snowball the money to the next one, to the next one. You'll see. And then you start making extra money on the side. You get out of the victim mentality. You start really becoming, uh, you know, a focus towards it. You won't be stoppable. You'll start to be encouraged. If you need some help, I'd recommend Dave Ramsey, DaveRamsey.com. He has a uh, a, the the uh, Financial Peace University, a, a Total Money Makeover. Got the seven steps to get out of debt. We've used that, uh, so you can look him up. That's a real uh, probably the best way if you need help right now. Next thing is just to be encouraged. Matthew nineteen twenty six. Jesus looked at them and said, "With man." This is impossible. With God, all things are possible. When you start taking steps towards anything, the clarity will begin to come and you will gain momentum. Don't think it's going to be locked in at the same thing. Once you take steps towards getting out of debt or getting to the next level financially, things will begin to snowball the other way. It will begin to go in your favor. So right now, Lord, we break the spirit of debt. We break off. This spirit that's on people today, that they are, uh, you know, uh, under a poverty mentality, under the, the uh, whatever it might be, the demonic forces of debt, generational curses of debt, we now will repent, renounce, break everything tied to keeping people in debt. We ask now, Lord, that you would release your strategies over us. We pray for those who are not in debt, to be able to gain more, to help others, to, to be able to uh, stay in the wisdom place in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, you can remember this. You could, don't be a victim. You have the power to change and use your money towards, you can get extra side jobs and do your, uh, use money towards, uh, you know, a debt reduction or your financial goals, become a freelancer, uh, you know, do some things like that. Uh, you know, the Lord is with you in the midst of all of this. And uh, I believe, you know, we had a, uh, we've been virtual for a very long time at Inlight Connection. We have people, we have an office and people there, but we have virtual. But people have worked for us on the side and then 
paid off their debt and gone and done things like plant churches and done things like that because they no longer became a victim and they heard my message. And so you could do the same thing as well. And I believe God's going to open up the heavens over your finances. And if you want to respond to this, I've got an online workshop called How to Get Your Financial Breakthrough. Just go to DougAddison.com forward slash breakthrough uh, and take a look at it. We normally do some online workshops in the month of February. We'll take it off. Uh, consider uh, you know, donating to what we do, DougAddison.com forward slash give as well. All right, God bless you all. See you next week.